y'all, I'm Dominique Green with Puppy Panda Crochet Co. And this is another market vlog. Is he not sharing with you? Hey, Cor. Can I have? He's got a Himalayan yak shoe. And Nova wants it. Oh, yeah. All set up. I'm in the fluffy blanket. minutes in and I've already made my booth fee. Nice. So we're an hour and a half in and I pretty much just sold the giant box levy that I made two days ago. That's from Old Soul, Old Soul Crochet. So I got that one that I'm making for myself but I think that I'm gonna make a couple more for my craft show in on December 17th. So, let's see if I can make up some more by then. So, here's day two set up. Change things up a little bit. Now the bees and octos. All that. So now I have a little area for me to sit and Kelvin. And then I got my owls, snowmen, deer, my last zebras up there. And then on the A-frame today, I got the crochet, crochet, bleh, I can't talk, crochet kits up there, triceratops, turtles, stingrays, and I got the hippos on the bottom. So that's today's setup. Let's see how well it goes today. Oh, I also got one of the vests up there. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Corbin wants the belly rubs. Hey, the goofus. He loves his daddy. Think she loves her daddy much? She's eating her bone on top of her dad. Lord. Crazy. So, this market was um, December 2nd and 3rd. It was a two day event. And this market vlog is not super long because I am also doing vlogmas and, um, yeah, <laughs> um, this week and this past week and next week are going to be very test heavy for me. I have finals next week and I had a lot of, um, pre-final exams. Um, this past week. So this event was, as I said, December 2nd and 3rd. Um, it was on Redstone Arsenal here in Huntsville, Alabama. And the booth fee was $50 for both days. Um, the weather was decent, I want to say. Um, we did get a little bit of rain on the 2nd, and then over the night of the 2nd, we had a lot of rain, but luckily I packed up everything and nothing was damaged. And then on the 3rd, it was between sunny and humid or dark and freezing. <laughs> so I was freezing my toes off. <laughs> But on this second, which was the first day, it was from 4 to 9 p.m. They did provide lights and they had like this pretty garland on the front with some lights and then they had a light in the middle of the canopy. So I did not have to provide any of my lights, which was very nice. And on the first day, my 
total before fees was $347.15. I divided the booth fee in half to make $25 for the first day. And I had square fees of $4.51, which brought me down to an overall profit before time and all of that of $317.64. I believe my minimum was 200 so I did exceed it a little bit. Um, my goal for the first day was probably around 500 or 600 but missed that one. <laughs> and then for day two, oh, so this is what the day one page looked like, only about three-fourths of the page. And day two, I had a page plus two and we got a Nova with her cheese stick come lay down put the butt down <laughs> she always loves the booties Nova come on okay plats okay or go away oh there we go there we go we got the plats Plots means down in German. So she knows German, Spanish, and English commands. Sometimes she just doesn't want to listen to any of them. But that's the husky in her. So for the second day, it was from 12 to 8 p.m. And as I said, I did a page and two. And on this day, <laughs> you got Nova. Before all my fees, I made a total of four hundred ninety-one thirty, with the booth fee of twenty-five for the second day, and square fees of six dollars and seventy-two cents. I made a profit of four hundred fifty-nine fifty-eight, so that's only about a hundred-ish dollars more than the first day, and it was twice as long. So the second day I was hoping for 600 plus, but we missed that one too. Um, my overall goal for this market was to get 1300, but I ended up getting a t overall total for both days of 777 and 22 cents. So it was not a complete fail, though however, I only made about a little over half of my overall goal, but I did not lose out from this market whatsoever. Um, I went over my minimum by about $200. So I will be debating on if I will go back next year. I did like the venue and all of that. I will post a picture right here that I got of Santa holding some of my products. Um, he was very kind and posed for a picture with them. So that was very nice of him. Um, my boyfriend and I were definitely freezing our butts off on that second day. So we were using each other's body heat to stay warm because I forgot my jacket and... It was cold. Well, my second jacket, because I was wearing my hoodie. And, oh, it was just super cold. <laughs> um, on the first day, we did pack up early by about 20 minutes, because no one was stopping by. And then on the second day, uh, we packed up about 30 minutes early, because no one was coming that time either. So, I mean, I usually enjoy staying till the absolute end, but I was so cold and no one was making any sales that I just called it. But, I mean, it was very fun to do. And I enjoyed myself. And what else can you ask for other than to enjoy yourself with your crochet and you want to do what you like to do? I would have enjoyed spending some quality time with this little munchkin at the fair, but my parents didn't bring her. 
she will be attending me at my next, no, accompanying me <laughs> at my next event on December 17th because I do not have a babysitter for her and I cannot trust her. Yeah, you. To um, have access to the backyard without trying to escape. <laughs> so Cora will be staying home that day and this little munchkin will be coming with me to my event. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will also have Vlogmas Day 4 coming out today. And I will try to continue doing Vlogmas for up until December 25th or 24th. As long as I have something to say and no one decides to go to an emergency vet trip. That, that happened a few years ago, either, I think it was either one or two years ago. Um, Cor ended up I think he swallowed a bully chew and he ended up throwing up and it looked like he was having seizures. So we took him to the emergency vet at 10 p.m. And we did not get home until 1 a.m. that day. So fingers crossed that we do not have another emergency vet trip this year. Thanks for watching. See you in Vlogmas Day 4. Bye.